Today we are looking into a condition spear renegade build that's a master of both damage and sustain. It's perfect for open world content even if you will be solo, and with few changes it will do tons of damage in group content like strike missions and raids. At the core of this build is the Abyssal Rays skill 5 on spear. It applies a lot of torment and hits hard, and as you use it you will get an effect that will let the skill do almost double the amount of damage. All your other spear skills will reduce the cooldown on Abyssal Rays, which means you can pretty much spam it non-stop. We will start with the open world setup and later I will show you some changes we can make for group content to do even more damage. We are going with the corruption, devastation and renegade trait lines and for the utility skills we will use the renegade and the demon legends. This will let you apply tons of conditions to your enemies, especially torment and give you very decent sustain. Traits like Acolyte of Torment, Seizing Malice and Abyssal Chill will increase your condition damage while Yearning Empowerment increases your condition duration. On top of that, Battle Scars and Vindication will both convert a big portion of your damage into heals. The rotation for this build in open world is pretty straightforward. Just spam all of your spear skills, especially the Abyssal Rays. Just be careful with Spear 3 as it will make you dash forward so you can completely skip it if you want. On top of that, we always want to use F2 whenever possible to give us more might which will help with the damage. And from the Renegade Legend, use Ice Razor Ire anytime it's up which will increase your damage even more and give you life steal from the Battle Scars effect. If you found yourself low on energy, swap to the Demon Legend and use the Elite skill on passive which will apply a lot of torment when you use your other skills and then switch back to Renegade anytime it is ready and just keep repeating over and over. For the gear, I will now show you the open world setup and later I will show you few changes for group content. We will go with a full set of Viper Armor with Trapper Runes, Rabid Spear and Short Bow with Sigil of Strength and Generosity, and then Viper Trinkets with Zakiros Relic, and for the consumables we will use Winterberry Pie and Master Tuning Crystals. If you can't afford any of these options, check the video description for cheaper alternatives. To make this build even stronger, get both offensive and defensive Jade Protocol buffs along with the reinforced armor. This will significantly increase your damage and sustain and provide you with all the boons in the game for a few seconds at the start of the fight. And don't forget the way station from Drizzlewood Coast for even more CCs, especially when doing hero points, bounties and metas for example. For group content, we will make few adjustments that will increase your damage a lot. First of all, we will swipe out the devastation line and use invocation instead. We will also change some traits in corruption and renegade trait lines. And for the weapons, we will replace the rabbit spear with a viper one and use a sigil of demon and torment with it. We will also switch out our relics and use fractals instead. For the consumables, we will go with fishy rice ball, which will increase your burning duration and Rit of Mastel Malice for even more condition damage. As for the rotation in group content like strike missions and raids, you want to start on the Renegade Legend. And then you will use Ice Razor Ire and Razor Claw Rage. Afterwards, switch to your demon and let your elite be on passive to give you a lot of torment. And then spam all of your spear skills except your skill number 3 and whenever Renegade Legend is ready, switch back to it and repeat over and over. We will also completely avoid using any of our F skills. Keep in mind, in fights with short multiple phases like the Mitran Strike mission, you will notice that your damage is lower than usual, and that's because you will not have enough time to ramp up your conditions in each phase. However, your damage should still be overall decent. So in conclusion, the Condition Spear Renegade build offers a lot of damage and sustain, and it's a great option in both open world and group content. I hope you enjoy this build when you try it, and if you have any questions or anything was not clear, please feel free to ask in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next guide.